a farmer has enough hay to feed eight horses for two days. So you got eight horses, you got hay to feed eight horses for two days. How long would the hay last for two horses and 32 horses? So let's say horses, H for horses and D for days. So you got eight horses and that for eight horses you have got hay for two days. The question is if you got two horses, how many days can that feed? Now this is a question of inverse proportion. Now as you've got less number of horses, the number of days is going to increase. So yeah, you have to think in an inverse manner. So this is an inverse proportion. So well, this is eight divided by four. The factor is four. Eight divided by four is two. So if this is decreasing, this would increase in the same proportion, but in the opposite order. So if this is divided by two, this you have to times it by two, times it by four, sorry. If it's divided by four, yeah, this would increase in an inverse proportion. That means if this is becoming a quarter, this is going to be four times. So two times four is eight. So, and a different way of checking the answer is if you look at the numbers, so here you can say H times, you can make up a th third column, H times days. So H, eight times two is 16 and two times eight is 16. So again, this is decreasing. If the number of horses is decreasing, the number of days the same hay would last would increase in an inverse manner. So this is decreasing by a quarter. So this would be increasing by four times inversely. Let's look at a very simple, next example is similar. If it takes five people six hours to wash a window at the Sun office building, how long would it take four people to do the same job? So you've got people, P for people and H for hours. So here you've got five people needing six hours. So basically this is 30 hour job. If you think in a different way, this is a 30 hour job. Five people, six hours. Five sorry it's not 30 hours sorry five people takes six hours to wash the window so if you've got four people how many men how many hours would you need obviously if this is decreasing if number of people is decreasing if this is decreasing d for decrease if this is decreasing this should increase in a reverse order and this is called inverse proportion well, this is, so let me remove this. So now phi, let's phi times, let's think in this way, phi times what is four? Phi, so let me write this question, phi times what gives me four? Well, I'm going to divide both sides by phi. So if you want to get this dash, I mean, if you divide this side by phi, and divide this side by phi. So well, this has to be, this dash has to be 4 fifth, which is 8 tenths, which is 0 0.8. So phi times 0 0.8 gives you 4. So let me show you that. Phi times 0 0.8 gives you 4. So if this is times, and as this is inverse proportion, you have to divide by 0 0.8. Okay, I'll explain this in a different way. So yeah, let's do 6 divided by, 6 divided by 0 0.8 equal 4 point, 4, 6 divided by 0 0.8 is 7.5, yeah, sorry, I made a mistake. 6 divided by 0 0.8 equals 7.5. So the answer is 7.5. So let's think in a different way. What's the product? If you multiply people to hour, people and hour, 
5 times 6 is 30 and 4 times 7.5 is also 30. So this is how you can do inverse proportion examples in a different way. The product of these two numbers is always constant. The product of this number, if it's an inverse proportion, the product of this times this is going to be constant. So 5 times 6 is 30. So 4 times what is 30, which is 7.5. So it takes 7 and a half hours to do the same work by four people.